that is rebate on bills discounted. What is this actually? This rebate is refers to, right? See, one of the core banking activity is to discounting of bills, right? Suppose bills of exchange we studied. In that, what will happen? One of the options of the holder of the bill is discounting with the banker. He can go and discount the bill, sell the bill to banker, and can get the money. So banker will charge certain commission. That is the income for the banker. So we must see the maturity period. What is the maturity period? Suppose a customer, see, as I already told you, who we are, we are accountants of bank. We are not customers. Bear in mind, I'm gonna. We are accountants of a business. Suppose we are accountants of a business. One of the customers of bank that let's may, let's say X, he approaches us. On what date he is coming? Presume that. We are closing books of accounts on 31st March. He is coming on, let's say, 1st March, and asking us to please sir discount the bill. The bill maturity is after three months. So when we discount the bill, there are two parts of the bill discount amount. One is one month lies in our current financial year. Two months lies in the next financial year. So that's the reason why what we have to do. We must eliminate the two months discount, which will be falling in next financial year. That is called as closing rebate. So that is called as unexpired rebate. This is also called as unexpired discount or discount received in advance. Right? This treatment we are doing on the basis of accrual concept of the business. Right? So this is called as rebate on bills discounted. Then what is the accounting treatment? How to deal? How to do the accounting treatment? So when you talk about the accounting treatment, there are two ways of treating it. One, if it is given in adjustments, this is the most important. If it is given in adjustment, what is the accounting treatment? What is what will be given? Rebate on bills discounted. Let's say ten thousand, or we will be given some numbers to calculate even sometimes, so we can calculate even. So, if it is given rebate on bills discounted in adjustment, then what is the accounting treatment? So, step two: calculate the closing rebate if required. Most of the cases, it won't be. If it is there, you need to calculate. You calculate even how to calculate based on that. We do problems also. I will explain how to calculate. If required, then step two: step two while preparing schedule thirteen, interest in earned. From interest and discount, opening balance will be added, and closing will be deducted. As in the earlier problem, it was a closing rebate. See, we deducted it. Did you see in the earlier question what we do? Do this question here. Closing rebate. Just check. What did we do? We have deducted. See, so closing rebate will be deducted, and opening rebate will be added. Right. So. What we have to do? Opening rebate will be added from interest and discount in Schedule 13 to discount and interest and discount. It will be added, and closing rebate will be deducted. Right? This is the accounting treatment if it is given in adjustment. This is the one-fold impact. As you are already aware, adjustment will have a two-fold impacts, and the second-fold impact will be again the closing rebate will be shown under Schedule 5. Other liabilities are and provision as a liability. Am I making you clear? So two times we need to consider. One is deduction from the interest and discount in Schedule Thirteen, as well as shown on the liabilities shown on the Schedule Five. Other liabilities and provision. So on the liabilities side, this is the one accounting treatment. If it is given in adjustment. Assume that if it is given in trial balance only, it is not given in adjustment. Only in trial balance it is given. Then, when it is shown, when it will be shown in only Schedule Five, then it will be shown in only Schedule Five other liabilities and provision, right? If it is given in only trial balance, then it will be shown in other liabilities and provisions, right? This is the basic accounting treatment. clear once this is done we will proceed with the 
next slide so we will understand one concept one problem so what this question says just understand very important calculation of rebate problems two problems i have taken for the calculation of rebate one first question question number five says that the bank closes its books of account 31st march 2004 when it is closing 31st march 2004 so what is the rule of accounting says rule of accounting says that whatever transaction is for this date will be considered in the financial year after this date will be considered in the next financial year that you bear in mind the total is discounted for 2 lakh and the matured at an average date of june 10. how much bills we have discounted total 2 lakhs this is the maturity period june 13. so june 13 falls within our financial year or after our financial year it falls after our financial year am i making you understand so june 13 don't ask me june 13 of which year sir 2004 only of course right but don't get confused in such a way june 13 will fall after the financial year right that is 31st march 2004 after this including grace period of three years all bills were discounted at 10 percent per annum calculate the rebate on this discount so what we have to do we need to deduct the amount of rebate and bills discounted belongs to next financial year that is 2005 that we need to calculate how to calculate we must calculate the number of days which falls beyond our financial year in this case how many days 31st march is the cut off day then maturity period is 13 june so april may june 13 so totally april 30 may 31 june 13 collectively how much 74 days right so like that we need to calculate number of days which days falls after the financial year right so then how to calculate calculation of rebate is discount is equals to total amount how much is about 2 lakh into what is the percentage percentage we need to calculate already given 10 percent into so next 10 percent in the sense we need to calculate number of days so next calculation of number of days after the closing of books of accounts you bear in mind always after the closing of books of accounts so how to calculate number of days as i have just now explained after march what is the next month april april falls in the next financial year so april how many days in april 30 days then may may how many days 31 days then june how many days 13 days so all these days will fall after the completion of our financial year hence make the summation the summation comes to 74 days these are the days number of days which falls after the financial year so whatever it may be the interest sorry whatever it may be the discount amount belongs to these 74 days should not be considered in our current financial year instead it will be taken in the next financial year hence what we are doing we are doing 2 lakhs into 10 percent into 74 days divided by 365 days why 365 total number of year total number of days in a year so then equals to the answer is 4055 this is the closing rebate if it is given in the question sometimes this kind of a question will be given as a short question for five marks four marks right so like this we need to calculate any doubt next when you see the next question what is said it is a little bit lengthy question right so from the following ascertain the amount of discount on bills purchased to be credited to profit and loss account of a commercial bank for the year ended 31st march 2011 discount received during the year 90 lakhs rebate on bills discount 31st march 2010 in the sense this is last year rebate are you understanding this 31st March 2010 in the sense opening balance it is so hence it is an opening rebate so what it should be done to this discount this opening rebate will be added and closing rebate will be deducted 
we don't know closing rebate we must calculate closing rebate how to calculate he has provided information value of the bills 50 lakhs maturity date is 12 june 2011 which falls after the completion of our financial year 31st march 2011 our financial year is going to end after that it is falling hence it will be calculated based on the date what is the rate of percentage 10 31st march after that we will get june no therefore we need to calculate number of days then 30 lakhs 38 june it is same 12 percent so what we have to do, actually first we need to calculate what what we are asked to calculate from the following asset in amount of discount on this purchase to be credited to the account how to calculate this discount opening will be added closing will be deducted so first solution and solution calculation of Amount of discount to be credited to PNL account. How to calculate discount received? Total is 20 lakhs. Add opening rebate should be added that comes to 1 lakh 20 less closing rebate. But we don't know how much is the closing rebate. He did not give any amount. So we need to calculate closing rebate. Then how to calculate closing rebate? So when you wanted to calculate closing rebate, therefore the answer is how to calculate the same 50 lakhs into what is the percentage of interest? 10%. So 10% is equals to into number of days we don't know. We need to calculate. In the same way, second belongs to 30 lakhs amount of sorry into 12% into we don't know the number of days. So what we have to do, again we will come to the parking lot, we will calculate, calculation of number of days we do. So number of days, how to calculate this number of days? This is April, 30 days. So when you take up the first bill, that is June 12th. So April, May, June, three months fall. So April, 30 days, May, 31 days, and June 12th. Okay. So like that, we need to calculate the total number of days that comes to 73 days in the same way for the second bill even we need to calculate 30 days this 30th june bill, this bill so may 31 days and june 30th so total comes to our 91 days okay so once you calculate this number of days again this number of days will be applied here this first bill 73 days divided by 365 is equals to then 91 days divided by 365. So for both the bills, days we have calculated. Then equals to first bill is 1 lakh rupees. Second bill is 89,753. So these are the rebates. That is closing rebate. So we need to both require both. So the summation comes to how much? 1 lakh 89,753. Once you calculate this closing rebate, then you will apply this closing rebate here. So that should be, as we have discussed, deducted. Once you deducted this amount, the resulting figure is called as amount to be taken from profit and loss account. Clear? So like this, we need to do the problem. Just check once, go through five minutes. Right?